Hi there, welcome to the November solar update. Uh, this month has been really weird in November with like the values going up and down all the time and we'll have a look at that in a moment. But before we get into the stats, let's just remind ourselves of my solar panel system. Uh, so 14 Jinko 390 watt panels, uh, totaling 5.4 kilowatts, 10 on the south and four on the east and a solar edge four kilowatt inverter so that's the solar side. On the battery side, we've got the three kilowatt AC inverter and the eight kilowatt Gen 1 Give Energy battery. And then of course, I've got a few extra bits and bobs such as the My Energy Eddy heating the hot water, the Harvey and the Hub, and the Hypervolt EV charger. So this is the month of November. In total, 244.62 kilowatt hours. It really was a month of up and down, up and down, up and down, as you can see here um, during the month. The highest day or the best day was the 6th of November, 16 kilowatt hours. And there were several other days of kind of 14, 14, 14, 14. Uh, and the worst day must have been the 27th, actually, when we had sort of 900 uh, watt hours there. So not very good on that day, but as you can tell, it really was up and down, you know, two bad days, a good day, a bad day, three good days, a bad day, you know, then it kind of went in, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you never know, kind of knew really where you were with it. But uh, overall, not a bad uh, month at all, really, for November, considering. So 244.62 uh, divided by 30. gives us 8.15 uh, kilowatt hours on average per day for the month. So how does November compare to last November? Well, it was a lot, lot better. Let's have a look here. So in green, we've got this year at 244 and last year 180. So it was, you know, 64 kilowatt hours better this year, which is really uh, pleasing to see because October obviously was a lot worse this year than the previous year. We only had 369, whereas the previous year we had 476. Although September was uh, better than in 2023 than in 2022. So I was really happy to even go over the 200 kilowatt hours, to be honest. Uh, December last year in 2022 only gave us 166. So if we can get 200 kilowatt hours in December, it'll be really good before then hopefully the days start to then get a bit longer um, towards the end of December and then in January we start sort of going up again. So here's the uh, Hypervolt EV charger dashboard as you can see in November we used a fair bit more than October although not as much as what we used in September so for November we used 123 uh, kilowatt hours in the cars and that would have been mainly overnight so now on to the My Energy Eddy consumption. So device use was for the whole month of November was 151.5 kilowatt hours went into the Eddy. Now some of that would have been through solar, but most of it would have been overnight, uh, coming in at seven and a half p per kilowatt hour. And I've sort of set it up to really run all the way from kind of midnight all the way till five in the morning every night. Uh, this winter as I'm trying to not use the gas boiler to heat the hot water as I've kind of worked out that the eddy is the cheapest way to do it overnight and I'll probably be doing a video on that soon uh, to compare my kind of values and show what uh, what I mean but uh, yeah every day I've been topping it up overnight so it maxes out uh, in the morning ready for my shower and then it will top up a little bit from solar during the day um, and should leave us enough for people who want kind of showers in the evening only the odd day i think the very rare odd day when it was really dark and cloudy did we need to turn on um, the gas boiler to heat the hot water i think it was once or twice during november we actually left it on a little bit um, to heat the hot water in the evening because we just hadn't got enough hot water most of this um, is from, um, you know, overnight electric. And you can see there on the kind of double spikes most of the time. It was kind of overnight, two, three in the morning, and again, three in the morning, a little bit kind of after the batteries are then full, sort of 11 in the morning. That's overnight. And then again, sort of 11, 12, just a little top up, three in the morning, three in the morning. So you can get it that it's kind of running over 
um, running every night and that seems to be the best way to do it mainly because as I said before you know you can now get 12 and 15 pence per kilowatt hour for exporting so really I'm just better off exporting everything I can when the sun is out as opposed to using that sort of electric um, and that just seems to be the best way to do it really so I'm so happy to see my electric usage back in the Octopus Energy uh, control panel area. It hadn't been accessible for months and I know what the problem was. I can tell you a little bit of a secret now. I've moved my export back to Octopus now um, from the 1st of December. I've left Scottish Power. Um, I thought, why wait? Um, let's see if I get paid out from Scottish Power though as I'm not holding on to too much hope in that but they owe me about £50 from the export that I've done over the last sort of couple of three months um, yeah so I'm back with uh, Octopus today and then suddenly the control panel starts working again with all the data in it so that was, was, was the problem I couldn't get to my raw or download my raw data or anything like that or see these graphs but now today now I'm back with them again suddenly it works so here we are uh, November so the full use uh, the consumption of my electric from octopus was 545.8 kilowatt hours in November so we're 100% charging the battery every night we're running the hot water heating as much as we can and obviously we're also now putting the dishwasher and the washing machine on overnight as well mainly because we're trying to export as much solar as we can during the day instead of using it ourselves. when traditionally when we're on a lower export price of say 4p we just try and use up all of the uh, electric during the day so yeah so we're using a lot more electric in november than uh, we were in october in october it was only 335 uh, but now we're on 545 so for the month of november uh, we've it's fairly steady isn't it during the month as you can see here kind of 15 12 15 17 15 uh, it all depends on the weather how low the battery was uh, when we went to bed and then it started to charge up again um, and also how much water was used or what temperature the kind of immersion tank was left at uh, depending on how much it needed again to top up uh, there might have been a couple of car charges um, overnight there as well some bigger ones there 48 and I plugged my car in and gave it a good good fill that night um, so that's the odd reason for those odd peaks but otherwise fairly standard during the uh, month right so now that I'm getting my data back from Octopus my raw data I can see how much um, the battery is falling short during the month so what I did was I looked at any data for any kilowatt hours being used from 6 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. 11.30 p.m. is when Octopus Intelligent uh, starts again on the cheap rate. So 9.86 kilowatt hours were used uh, between 6 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. for the month of November. So that would have been at peak rate, so 31 pence. So that equaled three pounds and six pence for the month, really, where the battery uh, fell short. So that just gives me an indication to add up during the kind of year to find out if it's actually worth buying another uh, battery or not certainly at three pounds a month um, it doesn't appear so <laughs> right so now for some costings so for november 2023 when it came to the grid importing uh, imported 527 kilowatt hours at the cheap rate intelligent rate 7.5 pence per kilowatt overnight that equaled 39 pounds and 59 pence and the uh, expensive day rate or peak rate 31 pence and we used 17.98 kilowatt hours and that equaled five pounds 58 and then if we have the export which was then with scottish power at 12 pence we exported 102 kilowatt hours in november which wasn't bad that was 12 pounds 28 making the total spend for electric uh for the import and the export of 32.89 but there were also some saving sessions in november these ones i did with axel energy through the give energy uh, give back program and they were on the 20th and 29th of november um for those uh 
days when I pushed back to the grid, I actually got paid 11 pounds and three pence. So if you take that away as well, then I end up with a total spend for the month in November of 21 pounds and 86 pence on the electric. For the gas, yeah, it was time to turn the uh, gas boiler on. 1st of November to 30th of November, 30 days. I used 1,670 kilowatt hours, uh, currently 6.7 pence a kilowatt hour. That equaled 113 pounds and 27 pence. Now on to standing charges. I have to add those in. Gas was 27 pence a day times 30 days was 8 pounds and 24. The electric was 42 pence a day at 30 days gives us 12 pounds and 60. So overall the gas 113 pounds on gas itself plus the eight pounds standing charge gives us 121.51 for the gas for the month An electric 45 pounds and 17 pence was used uh, plus the 12 pounds 60 standing charge but minus the export of £12.28 so the export nearly paid for the standing charge gives us £45.49 but obviously we had the saving sessions that I mentioned just now at £11 so the electric cost in total £34.46 for the month. So in the end, even though November has been very much kind of up and down, the month's been really good. Obviously, a lot better than last year, as you saw in the video. So I'm hoping that December's going to be pretty good as well. But at the moment, the first few days of December have been pretty awful, other than the 1st of December. So I'm not holding out too much hope at the moment. We don't seem to have be having some of those really sort of crisp winter uh, cloudless skies at the moment. But again, the saving sessions have kind of helped out uh, with the costs and they seem to continue. Um, there's another one tonight as well, uh, just for an hour, although the rate isn't as good as it was the other night. Um, so as these kind of energy saving, uh, saving sessions continue, they do really seem to help out with the bills and hopefully they'll carry on possibly all the way till the end of March 2024. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give us a like and don't forget to leave a comment uh, below about your uh, values for November. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.